Thank you, Eddie. Good afternoon once again. So much has happened since Armenia shot Wales in Cardiff. And from the months of uncertainty and criticism, Wales now have emerged into a situation they would have gladly taken at the start of the campaign. Qualification during transition would be a notable achievement for a team short of a legend who achieved so much. Two wins and they will be through. And it's the same side which beat Croatia. Danny Ward in goal. The back three, Joe Roden, Chris Metham and Ben Davis. Connor Roberts and Nico Williams are the two wing-backs. Ethan Ampadu and Jordan James anchoring midfield with David Brooks and Harry Wilson supporting Keeper Moore in attack. Brennan Johnson is on the bench. As for Armenia, they're without Tigran Varsegyan, who ran the game in Cardiff, but the two players have scored the two goals each, Lucas Zalarian and Grant Leon Ranos, they both start. Their team is Chanchanovic in goal, Avatunian, Harayan, Kalasir and Tignizian, the back four. Svertsian, Vikacharian and Iwu in midfield, Dashian, Zalarian and Ranos in attack. And Nico Williams and Chris Metham are both both on yellow cards, another here today, and they would be absent for the game coming up against Turkey on Tuesday, which of course, whatever happens here, Wales will still have to win and possibly hope that Croatia drop points. But Dean Saunders' final away game for Wales was in this stadium back in 2001. What do Wales have to do here today to ensure this isn't their final European away trip for some time? Well, they've got to be solid and you know, you can talk about Pep Guardiola football, but the best teams in the world, like you play against Italy, they stop you playing your game. They're really good at that as well. We have to stop Armenia getting chances against us. And as the game goes on, I think the manager, Robert Page, he decides he's got he's got some real ammo on the bench and he can change things up. But the main thing is we don't want to go a goal down in this game. Experienced referee, Benoit Bastien of France. And it's Armenia who get the game underway in their dark red shirts, defending the goal away to our right. Wales in their chain strip of all white. And it's a sellout crowd in the Republican Stadium in the capital of Armenia, Yerevan, as the ball is headed forward on the far side and it will bounce behind and it will be a goal kick to Wales. Alexander Petrakov, the coach of Armenia, he was in charge of Ukraine when Wales beat them in that momentous World Cup playoff in June of last year. A very proud Ukrainian, but now in charge of Armenia, and they have undoubtedly improved as a long ball forward aimed for Kiefer Moore, bypasses him, almost bounces through to David Brooks on this near side, but Armenia will clear, and it will be a throw into Wales, just in front of the Armenian technical area on this near side. It's Rob Page, Bellows out instructions from the Wales technical area. Nothing he can do now, but he was talking about the incredible positivity in the squad building up to this game after all of the recent talk, all of the noise about him which surrounded the previous international break. But if you win games, things take care of themselves, Dean. Yeah, as a manager, you when he when he's lost three games, you you know the vultures are circling, so you, you just ignore it, you just get on. All the, the only way you put it right is by winning games. He's won three, and uh, that, that's the main thing. But uh, and we're back on track. But uh, we'll see a lot of this. What we're seeing at the moment, you know, the fullbacks of Armenia are going to have a lot of the ball, and they're going to end up trying to clip the ball over the top of Nico Williams and Connor Roberts. It's the only pass they've got on. So two centre backs, either side of the sweeper, have got to win that race in the chance not give fouls away and smother it out Aratunian brings it forward now for Armenia finds the dangerous Zalarian a high ball forward from him two Wales players rather go for the same ball but Ben Davis guides it back towards Danny Ward who sweeps it away on the far side in front of the most vocal area of Armenian supporters all wearing black t-shirts on the far side and it will be a throw into the home team two minutes played on talk sport in group D of the European qualifiers and this a must win game for Wales currently second in the group behind Turkey who have qualified Croatia are behind Wales on the head-to-head -head record of course a draw 
in split. Wales winning by two goals to one in Cardiff. Armenia start this game on seven points, but if they win here today and beat Croatia away, which is a big ask, they would qualify and they would leap from fourth to second in the space of this international break. As Armenia move the ball around very sweetly on the far side. Here is Ranos, but he's quickly challenged by Ben Davis, stepping out of the back three into midfield, as he will so often do. But it's back again with Iwu on the far side, the Nigerian-born midfielder for Armenia. And Wales are just finding it difficult to get a hold of the ball at the moment. Here is Halian, the captain, inside the centre circle for the Armenians. Alarian demanding the ball on this near side. Kiknizian, the wing-back, makes a run forward. Then he has to check this run to stay on side. Zalarian holds on to it. He's eventually challenged by Metham, and it will be a throw into Armenia. Yeah, and, you know, there's two different types of possession. There's forced possession, which you can't do nothing about. This team's coming at you like a tidal wave. And there's possession where you allow them to have the ball. That's what Wales are doing right now. And Armenia are coming forward again now with Gashia. A powerful run into the penalty area. Clips across it from the right-hand side, but it whizzes high over the top. There were claims for a deflection and a corner kick. But Dashian, the player who was replaced by Sekian in the Armenian starting lineup, and it did take a deflection in the first corner of the game, has gone to Armenia. This is another reason why Kiefer Moore has to be in the team, because he stands at the near post in front of these, in these corners, right in front of Danny Ward, and he's got a big job. Can he get his head on that first ball that comes in the box? Five minutes played, Armenia nil, Wales nil, in a very noisy Yerevan as Wales prepare to defend the game's opening corner. And both Connor Roberts and Nico Williams are as close as they can get to the corner taker on the far side. And eventually it's delivered in towards the near post and it's flicked high into the air. Danny Ward comes and then retreats. Not it clear by Rogan initially. Zalarian will fire the shot in right foot in. And it's into the back of the net. And Armenia have the lead. And it's Zalarian who scored twice in Cardiff who hammers the ball in from the edge of the penalty area. And it's the worst possible start for Wales in a game they must win. They're a goal down with five minutes play. Well, you've just said it, worst possible start. I mean, it's a tremendous finish. Tremendous strike. Salarian, he's a good player. And he hurt us in Cardiff and he's done it again. I mean, it's a corner coming in the box. We get a, a top edge on it. I can't remember who was got his head on it. It's Chris Meppham. Danny Ward looks to come and punch it. Chris Roden gets his head on it. And then this is an unbelievable finish. He's running away from the ball on his right foot. And he's wrapped his foot round it into the bottom corner. It's dipped. Unstoppable. Great finish. Bad start. Well, Danny Ward may have been unsighted. But Zalarian was given time there to bring the ball down and carry it across the penalty area to find the space in the central area. And he absolutely hammered it. And the pyrotechnics are going off on the far side of the stadium. And Wales are a goal down already in a match they have to win. He's a dangerous player, Zalarian, and he's showed it again. I think he's playing his training in Saudi Arabia now, is it? Is yeah, he? he's with Al Fata, having moved from Columbus Crew in MLS as Kiefer Ball chases the ball forward now for Wales, cuts it back into the penalty area, but it's hammered away by Kanasir on this near side, and it will be a throw-in for Wales, who have barely been inside the Armenian half so far. Six minutes played on Talk Sport, Armenia 1, Wales 0, and Conor Roberts will take the throw-in on this near side, and he has plenty of room in which to execute the long throw here. Mepham is forward. Kiefer Moore will make the run towards the near post. Rodin is also underneath it. It's cleared as far as Brooks. Brooks with a shot just over the top. He had to take the shot quickly, but Kanchanovic was beaten and David Brooks not too far away. David Brooks so unlucky. Oh, it's a long throw aimed at Chris Mepham. They get a header down. It drops the Brooks on the right side of the box. He's moved it on his left foot, trying to curl it. Exactly the same sort of finish as their goal. 
but David Brooks' shot was over the bar, not in the bottom corner. Seven minutes played, Armenia 1, Wales 0 in League 2 this afternoon. Bradford, who were 4-0 down at Notts County at half-time, have pulled back two goals. Jamie Walker with the latest of those. And over on Talk Sport 2, there is continuing commentary from the Women's Super League of Chelsea against Liverpool, where Chelsea lead at Stamford Bridge by two goals to one. Wales looking to ride the punch of the opening goal here. Ben Davis on the edge of the penalty area. And Zalarian has now scored three international goals and they've all come against Wales. Roberts on this near side. Back towards Mepham and all the way back towards Danny Ward who has not even featured on the bench for Leicester City in recent weeks and that's a problem for Wales none of the goalkeepers are getting any sort of game time they're not even in the match day squads of their clubs at the moment although I don't think there's much Danny Ward could have done with that opening goal in any circumstances as Harry Wilson comes in with a challenge on the far side on Ranos Ranos has gone down clutching his knee but Wales do have the throw in and managers do talk in the dressing room before the game they do actually explain to the players what we're going to do if we get a punch on the chin what, what if they are allowed to score a goal what, how are we going to react can we walk through it and carry on as if it hasn't happened and start the game again or are you going to let it affect you and, they go, and then go 2-0 down Peter Moore does well to control the high ball forward on this near side. Then there were a couple of challenges on him, but it's one back. But David Brooks was in an offside position. And Wales believe that there were at least two challenges there on Keeper Moore, which should have resulted in a free kick. But in the end, the decision goes Armenia's way. David Brooks was offside. Yeah, just, just offside, but... Good response from Wales, you know, we're not curled up in a ball and gone into our shells. I mean, early sort of punch on the chin like that, we've got to roll the sleeves up, stick to the plan, and I think the plan will work. Kankarovic, the goalkeeper, plays away on the far side, but straight out of play over the head of Kavasir. A number of the Armenian players playing in the home stadium here today Pienik who are currently 10 points clear at the top of the Armenian League and Ararat Armenia the other big club in the capital both use the Republican Stadium as their home venue Wales have played here once before a 2-2 draw in the World Cup qualifiers back in 2001 when John Hartson scored twice the Wales need two goals here so right now, Robert Page will be standing in the technical area thinking, what do I do next? This wasn't in the plan. The Wales were a goal up against Armenia back in June before things fell apart. Ampadu working hard to win it back. And Benoit Bastin, the referee, is allowing plenty to go so far on both sides of the ball. But Armenia, 95th in the world, below Vietnam, Benin, Syria, and in Europe, they're below Northern Ireland, Georgia, Bulgaria, and Luxembourg. So, that's the measure of the team that Wales are playing here today. Only four wins in 27 games for Armenia. Of course, one of those came in Cardiff, but Wales with three successive victories after only one win in 13 themselves. Well, when you look at the goal we've just conceded, I'm trying to look at whose fault it was, but I mean, I'm just going to put it down as a, a brilliant finish. You know, Wales did have two or three opportunities to clear the ball, though. Yeah, they got they got the head on it. They got the first contact when the ball comes in and it's dropped. He's read it and, and, and he's still had to execute. What a finish. Harry Wilson now clips it forward to Keeper Moore, who nods down looking for Brooks, but it's swept away by Harriyan on the edge of the penalty area. And that's clearly the game plan for Wales, those long diagonals up towards Kiefer Moore and it's up to the likes of Brooks and Wilson to work with intent around it. Yeah, and Harry and, uh, you know, their middle centre-back, he's got a job on his hands today marking Kiefer Moore and he has to come out on top for Armenia to win this game. Wilson plays a 1-2 with Moore, up towards the edge of the penalty area, Brooks further down the line, Paul Wilson again, the cross in is headed away at the near post by Anatunyan. And now the back heel from Brooks doesn't quite come off to find Connor Roberts. And it's cleared away downfield by Tick.
technician on this near side, but one back well by Meppham, Amperdon, back towards Jordan James. 12 minutes played, Wales a goal down on Chalk Sport, as Nico Williams comes forward now down the left-hand side. Coming in field to find James again, darkness has already descended in Yerevan, four hours ahead of us in the UK. As Roden plays it wide to the far side. And now an opportunity for Nico Williams to try and attack Dashian. Dashian surely hauls him down, he does, and it's a free kick for Wales. Level with the edge of the Armenian penalty area down the left. Yes, it's good play from Nico Williams. I mean, he plays with enthusiasm. I like him. You know, every time I see him play, he's always looking to drive forward. And, he's, he, you know, he could have checked back and just passed it simply. He's took the full back on. Free kick in a great position. Kiefer Morby rubbing his hands together. If you, get, if you can get the delivery on the right spot, I'd fancy him to get his head on it. Pankalovic is sorting out the wall. So Larian and... Gashinya are the two players between Harry Wilson and the Armenian goal but it's wide on the left hand side Williams could also whip the ball in but it's Harry Wilson who flights it high into the penalty area headed away at the near post it drops to Brooks Brooks inside onto his left foot then back outside onto the right looking to hit the byline skips away from the initial challenge pokes it across the penalty area it stayed in play there and it's headed away at the far post Alarion plays it wide to this near side he tries to knock it down the line but it's straight out of play and it will be a throw into Wales with 14 minutes played and Armenia leading by a goal to nil high in towards Kiefer Moore Ibru does well to head the ball away a heavy first touch though from Ampadu on the edge of the penalty area and it will be cleared long downfield by Armenia again Ranos in a foot race with Roden and it's guided back towards Danny Ward Oh, what a genius piece of play there from David Brooks. I don't know how he managed to cross that ball. He's wriggled onto the byline, and he has to cross with his right foot. He's got his left foot rounded somehow. Oh, Harrians made a, a mistake. Here is Kiefer Moore into the penalty area, plays it square, and now an opportunity for Williams. It's deflected, and it's behind. Now, what's Kiefer Moore just held back there inside the penalty area by Harrian? I think a corner kick's been given in the end, but that was another opportunity. Yeah, ball over the top, Harry and terrible mistake. Kiefer Moore wriggles around the back of him. And maybe there's a little bit of match sharpness missing from Kiefer Moore. He was clean through, really, but it wasn't sharp. And he ends up squaring it back. And Nico Williams gets a shot from the edge of the box, which gets deflected wide, but corner. Wales corner on this near side. 15 minutes played, Armenia lead 1-0, it's headed away at the near post, nodded back down towards Ampadu, laid back towards Brooks, it's so congested, Brooks fires the shot in but it spins away to the far side and Zalarian will keep the ball in play and Armenia have the opportunity to clear but James comes across for the challenge and it will be a throw in to Armenia. 15 minutes played on Talk Sport. The European qualifiers, Group D, it's Armenia 1, Wales 0, over on Talk Sport 2, coming up to half-time at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea still lead, Liverpool 2-1 in the WSL. And tomorrow night from 9 o'clock, Talk Sport brings you a special programme entitled Play On, How Football Returned to War-Torn Ukraine, an hour-long documentary exploring the tumultuous journey Ukrainian footballers faced since the war broke out in the country. It's narrated by the British Ukrainian sports journalist Andrew Todos and features Andrei Shevchenko, Sergei Rebrov, and Alexander Zinchenko, all Ukrainian football icons. Play on on Talk Sport. How football returns to war torn Ukraine tomorrow night for nine o'clock here on Talk Sport. Just watched a replay of David Brooks's shot again, which was deflected away, and I think it was goal bound. And Wales have responded strongly to falling a goal behind. 17 minutes played, but Armenia now are in the situation where they can do what they did in Cardiff and just try and pick them off on the counter-attack. I don't, I don't think they can resist us, to be honest. If, if, if we just keep going the way we're going, not, don't panic. I mean, if you want to slow football up a bit more, Kiefer Ball, he's got a little, like a little scratch on his leg, and he's had to go off the pitch. 
They're all about slowing football down. Does he have to go off for that, really? A little well, bit. Well, he does. It's a blood injury, limb. yeah. They have I to know, treat the blood injury. There's blood injuries and there's a little scratch on your left. Well, there's blood on his shirt as well, so Benoit Bastien will make sure that something happens as he sticks a watch of cotton wool up his nose. Lucas Salanian with the only goal so far, one of two Argentine-born strikers, the other one, Grant Leon Ranos. And they are a really good combination. Salanian now with the ball forward, looking for the run inside the penalty area of Ranos. He's forced wide to the far side. He's got support from Mikoshinya across into the penalty area. It's headed away by Roden. And now Kiefer Moore lobs it wide to this near side. Brooks. Losing out though to Pikachinia, but now it's been given away by Armenia. Wilson with the early ball forward, asking too much of Keeper Moore, and Halian plays it back towards Vankanovic. Yeah, we just got to keep going, don't lose your head. I mean, this is where a bit of experience counts as well. Ranos again on the far side for Armenia, but it's cut out initially by Roden. And then Nico Williams back towards Davis again. The other game in this group kicks off at five o'clock as Wales get a free kick for a challenge by Kalasia pushing into the back of Wilson. And that's Latvia against Croatia. And you've got to believe that Croatia will win that game. Well, yeah, I, I don't think you know it's a bit to do with Latvia beat Armenia last month. That's. That just tells you where Armenia are in the packing order. Yeah. Now Kiefer Moore, challenged by Halian, who won the ball on this near side. Halian gets back to his feet and gets support from Avacunyan inside the penalty area, but Armenia, with the home crowd behind them, have started this game well. Half-time at Stamford Bridge over on TalkSport 2. Chelsea women 2, Liverpool women 1. Kiefer Moore was sent sprawling by that challenge by Javian, but he clearly won the ball. And Armenia, in the two games so far against Wales, have had five attempts on target and they've all gone in. And they're moving forward again now. Shot five from long range, but it's wide this time for Bikashinya. Yeah, he's got a big woo from the crowd, but who's never going to go in? I mean, Nico Williams looks... I don't know whether he's got the wrong boots on. He's slipping all over the place. It's about three times he's slipped over. It's just a simple ball down the channel, down the side of him. He should never be in that sort of problem that he had there. Just keep your composure. Wales looking to move forward again now with Wilson fighting Nico Williams, attacking down the Wales left-hand side, lifted in towards Kiefer Moore with the header, but it's wide, but that's the sort of delivery he needs, but on this occasion with 20 minutes played on Talk Sport, he's unable to keep it on target. Great cross from Nico Williams, and Kiefer Moore gets up above the crossbar, it's a brilliant header, just wide. have had more attempts on goal since Armenia scored. Now it's been given away by Iwu. Harry Wilson will try and bring it forward, but Halian with an excellent challenge to make up for the error of his midfielder. And it's brought forward again by Dashian on the far side. Now Iwu again. Kalasia in field to Spurzian. Armenia so many sides from the Caucasus when they get the ball on the ground they can look a decent side but they do have weaknesses and when you look at the clubs the Armenian side is drawn from in the main they are not of the caliber of Wales but the fact is Armenia lead Wales by a goal to nil as we approach the midpoint of the first half here on TalkSport yeah, I mean, I've mean, just been watching Ethan Ambedou and Jordan James for the last four or five minutes. They, they've got a different problem tonight than they had against Croatia. Croatia, they were trying to stop Modric getting on the ball. But Armenia are not playing with a number 10, really. They're playing 4-5-1. And at the moment, they can actually press the ball instead of looking over their shoulder all game. We've got three centre-backs back there who are marking one striker, so they can actually get some pressure on the ball. Wales a goal down, having lost to Armenia. 
in Cardiff 4-2. Wales have not been doubled by a nation in qualifiers for the European Championships since England during the group heading towards Euro 2012, which feels a long time ago. Free Gary Speed, of course. I've been in this situation lots of times and, and, and saw the experienced players on the pitch. The, the lads, the Ben Davis, for example, has to be shouting to Nate Ethan Ampadu now and Jordan James, keep your head. Don't go chasing the ball on your own. Stand up, don't give fouls away. Just keep your head. We're 1-0 down, but we can still get back in this game. We, what you can't do is get sent off or, do, or go chasing the ball like, you know, on your own. There's no time to panic because there is plenty of time left in this game. Flipped over the top by Netburn, but it was deflected by Zalarian. And it will be a throw-in for Wales, taken quickly by Roberts. Of course, Keeper Moore can't be offside. And he controls the ball by the corner flag on this near side, but then eventually runs out of room. And it will be a goal kick for Armenia. He's actually playing well, Kiefer Moore. I mean, he's causing them all sorts of trouble. Harold Jan's really struggling to cope with him. I mean, he, he's got on the end of a couple of crosses. He doesn't look razor sharp, but he's still caught. He's such a big, strong player. He's causing them all sorts of trouble. Well, the reality is, Kiefer Moore has played five minutes for Bournemouth in the Premier League since Wales beat Croatia last month. And you can train as much as you like. You know, being out on the pitch and getting instructions as well off your manager and feeling nervous before you kick off. That, that actually, you miss that bit. David Brooks has also been on the bench for Bournemouth's previous three games. He's played less than an hour's football since the win against Croatia. And even Harry Wilson has only started one game for Fulham and he has been a regular there over the last couple of years. So it's an ever-present issue for Wales and it, it's not gone away. Yeah, but we've been in worse situations than this. At yes. least Dan James is playing, Ethan Ambadu's playing and Joe Roden are playing at least. So it weren't long ago that, that those three weren't playing either. On the Roberts, clips it forward. Keeper Moore has been flattened there by Hadiyan and it will be a free kick. Just inside the Armenian half. I mean, that's a yellow card for me. It, it, it's just a, it's a ridiculous chance. He's got his hands around Kiefer Moore. He's pushed him up. That's four times. At what point is he going to show a yellow card? Notts County have beaten Bradford 4-2 in the early kickoff in League 2 this afternoon. We'll have news of goals as they go in from the 3 o'clock kickoffs during the second half of this game and in the rest of the Saturday session with Andy and Scott. David Dean, the former Arsenal vice chairman, will be the guest of Henry Winter and Sean Custis on Talk Sport from 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Always a good listen. David Dean is certainly someone who is worth listening to. Don't forget live boxing returning to Talk Sport tonight. Daniel Bentley defending his British middleweight title against Nathan Heaney at the Manchester Arena as part of the Queensbury's Magnificent Seven event. Seven title fights on the card. And then Cantrell, Gareth A. Davis and former champions Spencer Oliver and Carl Froch will be alongside our commentator John Rawling. Saturday, coming up later on, 8 o'clock, live on Talk Sport. And you can also head over to the Talk Sport Boxing YouTube channel to follow all all the action in the build-up to the fight. Wales in a fight here, 26 minutes play, trailing Armenia by a goal to nil. Lucas Salarian has come back to haunt them once again. So it's 26 minutes, we've just got our first bit of sort of possession where we're in control of the ball. Uh, and it's vital that you don't give the ball away, force him passes through gaps that don't exist. When you've got that ball, at least you can get bodies up the pitch then. Wales have had four shots on goal so far, but none of them on target. The only effort on target, the goal scored by Lucas Saladian after five minutes. forward towards Harry Wilson, loses out to the other number eight, Edouard Svertsian, and it's all the way back to Onion Kankanovic, plays for Alashkar, 
one of the big clubs in Armenia. And it breaks down for the home side and Wales do have a throw in on the far side with 27 minutes played. It's a chilly night in Yerevan for a capacity crowd of around 14,000. The stadium which was built in the 1930s and has the look of an old Eastern European stadium with the running track and it's in the foothills of um, Ararat. If you believe your biblical readings was when Noah picked up the ark. Did you go to Sunday school? I did. You and Robert, she talking about. I went to Sunday school and got picked to play against Armenia. And he said the most uh, excited he's ever been. He wanted to see where Noah's ark was. And he missed a sitter against Armenia in the game in Cardiff. So ball is played forward, wide to the far side, looking for key for more. I was out practicing my finishing when he was at Sunday school. <laughs> Headed forward, but Avatunian has been hemmed in by David Brooks for Wales on this near side, but it bubbles behind and it will be a goal kick in Armenia in the main. They played this quite smartly since scoring the early goal. 28 minutes played, they still lead by a goal to nil. And of course, Wales have to win this game realistically. Yeah, Armenia, a typical small nation where you know they have runs of defeats after defeat after defeat they show little bits of signs of class where they've got two or three players who can control the ball and pass it and do little clever movement and then they they, they have signs of sunday league football where they're just kicking the ball out of play say we've seen something similar from Wales in recent years as well well we are a small we nation. are a small nation yes Aritunia is given the ball away but Nepham unable to quickly bring it forward but Wales do have a throw in on this near side with nearly half an hour played on talk sport Armenia one Wales nil this would not be good enough with a game against Turkey coming up of course, Croatia play Latvia later on. Miracles could always happen, but... I'm just going by, I was assistant to John Toshak, and he used to take the game in 15-minute spells. Uh, or you can do three half an hours. We're right on the half-hour mark now. He'd come and have a chat with me and Roy Evans. What do you think? Here is Roberts coming forward now for Wales. Drives the cross into the penalty area, but it's headed away. Ampadu will try and win it back, but he cleans out his marker. And I think Ampadu could receive the game's first yellow card here. Benoit Bastian, the referee, is having words. It was a rash challenge from Ampadu on the Kishinian. I mean, there's no need for it. Ethan Ampadu won a game he does a reckless yellow card tackle he's got to learn now he's in a situation right now where he he can't make another challenge if he gets away with this the ref's letting everything go i don't think he's booked him don't think he has received the yellow card in the end he seems to be going for his pocket benoit bastian to Larian, spins it around the corner beyond Mepham, Mepham blocks him off and the referee will soon, sooner rather than later run out of patience here and if Chris Mepham receives a yellow card he won't play against Turkey. No and that is an old fashioned Tony Adams reducer that he's uh, put on. He's Zavarang. got the booking. Yeah he misses a Turkey game. But again, he can't really have any complaints. He's on the halfway line. Zalarian produces a bit of skill to go beyond him, and he takes him out. I mean, In international football, that's always going to be a yellow card. Yeah, well, he's just running too quick. He's gone to close him down. He's, and, and instead of slamming the brakes on, he's ended up. I mean, he's not done a lot wrong. But he's just timed his but challenge. But it's naive in international wrong. football, isn't it? Of course, yeah. I mean, especially when he knows he's out of the turkey game. Tom Lockyer, get warmed up. Well, they need to be warmed up before Tuesday. 31 minutes played, Armenia 1, Wales 0. 
And don't forget, every weekday from 6 o'clock, TalkSport Breakfast serves you up the most fun and informed sports chat anywhere on the radio. Natalie Sawyer in the chair on Monday alongside Andy Townsend. And of course, Wednesday to Friday, it is Big Alan Brazil. TalkSport Breakfast back on Monday from 6 a.m. And with the free TalkSport app, you can swipe between all of our brilliant sister stations, including Virgin Radio, Talk Radio and Times Radio. As Ampadu slides in with the challenge on the edge of the penalty area, wins the ball this time. I think had he not won the ball there, he could have been in real trouble. I don't know what's going through Chris Madman's mind. Whether he's panicking, he's running to midfield again, closing down. There's no need. We're playing with a back five with two sitting midfield players. There is no need for your centre-backs to be running out of that shape into midfield, closing down. How he, he, He's thrown his arms around someone's neck again. I'm, my heart went in my mouth. I'm thinking red card. Maybe Tom Knocker should be warming up now. Well, I'd be considering it if I was Robert Page. I, 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 you know, sometimes you look on a player's eyes and you think, his head's gone. 33 minutes played, Armenia 1, Wales 0, in a game that Wales have to win on Talk Sport. But a goal down for the fifth minute, thanks to Lucas Zalarian. An excellent finish, but Wales did have one or two opportunities to clear the ball from a corner and didn't. Now Williams plays it forward, but it's cut out by the Gashinian. And so far, Wales have palpably failed to build on the feel-good factor they generated from the win over Croatia. Yeah, but I, I, I'm not worried inside. I, I knew this was going to happen. I didn't, know, I didn't expect to score, but I knew we'd play in this way. But we have got Premier League cutting brilliant moments in us. We've got players on the pitch and on the bench who will put runs and passes together which are of a Premier League standard. Harry Wilson, David Brooks, Kiefer Moore will make something happen during this game. Roberts for Wales on this near side. A support from Jordan James but goes all the way back to Mepham again who won't play on Tuesday. Roden. Right towards Ben Davis, operating on the left wing, further forward to Nico Williams, but it was rather fist into his feet, that Sham wins it back, he's supported by Kavasir, and Armenia will try and clear by the corner flag on the far side, but it spins off Nico Williams, up over the high fence, and into the crowd, and it will be a throw-in, as Rob Page retreats from the edge of the technical area to sit on the bench once again. He's in conversation with Chris Gunter, one of his assistants. And of course, Brennan Johnson on the bench. Dan James on the bench. When will we see them? Does he change the formation to accommodate another attacking player? As Joe Roden is penalised for handball, but I think it was accidental. The ball rather reared up and caught him on the hand on the halfway line, and it will be a free kick for Armenia. The whole system that we're playing is counter-attack football. We've got three centre-backs, Ben Davis is decent on the ball, the other two are all right. We've got two midfield players in front who are all right on the ball. So we're never going to total football Man City anybody. But what we can do, we've got athletes, two wing-backs who can run, and we've got sharp strikers. So the whole thing is set up not to control the game with the ball, but keep a clean sheet and break on teams. But so much of the quality at the moment is coming from Armenia, the 95th team in the world. They're the side who've been popping the ball around and producing the combinations which cause problems. Well, I, I don't think they've... I don't think Danny Ward's had much to do, Nigel. I, I mean, look, they're not cutting through us. We are allowing them to have the ball because uh, the way we're set up, we can't get any pressure on their fullbacks. We knew that. Into the feet of Kiefer Moore now from Roberts, who controls the ball, and Moore plays it back to James, who just has to retreat to the halfway line. And it's a conundrum now for Rob Page to try and find the goals in this formation. Of course, they scored twice against Croatia. As Jordan James robs Alarion on this near side, but it will spin into the Wales technical area. It's fielded by Rob Page, and it will be a throw into Armenia with nine minutes to play in the first half on Talk Sport. Armenia leading by a goal to nil. So looking on the bench, he's got Alan Nil, Chris Gunder, who's now a coach, Jack Lester. Well, he's got them three to, to discuss. Right, what are we going to do next? Kit Simons has left, but those are his three assistants. 
got to come up with something because it's win or bust here. Or oh, it'll be a playoff in March, and it could be a very tough one. Brooks now with an excellent ball, wide to the left-hand side. Nico Williams lays it back. Harry Wilson with the shot, and it's just wide. It was a brilliant save by Kankarovic to turn the curler from Wilson behind for a corner. Well, there's the magic moments I'm talking about. David Brooks plays an unbelievable pass inside the fullback. Nico Williams bombing on, turns back, squares it for Harry, Harry Wilson. I'm thinking, side netting, it's going into side netting. That is a world-class save. What a save. He seemed to go across with his wrong hand, Kan Karavich, but he, it's a brilliant save. Made the distance and turned the ball behind for a corner to Wales. Wales' is second corner, Armenia had one and they scored from it. Wilson high into the penalty area, Kan Karavich will fist it clear and inevitably Keeper Moore gets penalised for pushing. Yeah, he's, I think Kiefer's on a world record of fouls against in international football. Referees don't allow him. And all he's done there is get up. He's, by the way, he's, he's jumped for the, the corner. He's gone behind the keeper. He's jumped into Ethan Ampadu. He's not pushed one of their players. He's pushed his own player. Seven minutes to play in the first half. Armenia 1, Wales 0. have had more clear-cut chances since the Armenian goal as Ben Davis now steps forward and finds Keeper Moore squared to David Brooks on the right-hand side of the penalty area tries to play it through to Ben Davis again but now it's cleared and Wales are a man short at the back as Meppham plays it infield towards Roden Wales with more attempts on goal, more on target so far, but Armenia still leading thanks to their only real clear-cut effort as Connor Roberts heads it into the penalty area, but he was under pressure and he can't find Brooks. And here is Zalarian coming forward now. Wales can't afford to concede the second goal. Jordan James just pulling back Spatsinian, but he will break towards the edge of the penalty area. Challenge though by Meppham. James, the teenager, who's been a regular starter for Birmingham under Wayne Rooney, can bring the ball clear with the help of Connor Roberts. But the ball back from James to Roberts was overhead, and Armenia will have a throw in on this near side. It's a bit unlucky, Jordan James, I think he's playing well. He's getting around the pitch, intercepting passes. A couple of his passes have just gone astray, but he's doing well. Was he 19, Nigel? 19, yeah. I can't remember what I was doing at 19. Been given a free transfer by Swansea, weren't it? I was selling uh, bottles of pop, 5p, off the tops. There must have been something dodgy going on there. <laughs> Always. Always. Five minutes to play in the first half. Wales a goal down. Now the Kashian. Kashian will play the ball out because there is a player down injured. So play will be halted and it's... Kiefer Moore, who is clutching his left ankle. Yeah, I don't know whether he's rolled his left ankle there or he's just got a foot on it, studs in it, but he's, he's got push in the back again. He's jumped for a header. Yeah, the defender stood on the outside of his left ankle as he's landed. Accidental. He'll be all right with that, I think. It's just stud marks. I don't think he's done his ligaments or anything. And it gives Pagey, which he's now doing, we can see in the dugout, he's sat there crowded with Alan Nil, Jack Lester and Gunter. The, let's revise another plan. We're 1-0 down. Do we open up yet and start throwing haymakers and risk losing another goal? Or do we just keep going with going and hope we get an equaliser? I've got Dan James there. It's so tempting for the manager. He's got Dan James and Brennan Johnson, 45 million for Spurs, and he's sitting there itching to get on. It's when you do it. is okay to come back on and the drop ball is given to Armenia and play is back underway once again with three and a half minutes of normal time to play in the first half on Talk Sport. Armenia 1, Wales 0. Don't forget there is commentary on England coming up live from Skopje against North Macedonia on Monday night on Talk Sport. 
North Macedonia losing 5-2 against Italy in Rome last night. Now Italy need a point in Ukraine or a way to Ukraine in Leverkusen to qualify themselves. Armenia coming forward again now. A curling shot is blocked at the near post by Roden. But it spins out to this near side where Ramos will gather. And he's got support from Dignesian. Wales at the moment are rather living on the edge. A goal down. They've been chasing this game since the fifth minute, but they can't afford to concede another. They've got to find some way of creating something themselves as Keeper Moore lays it wide to the far side. And now it's brought forward by Connor Roberts, but the balls into Keeper Moore are going to be much better than that, and it's cut out by Halia. Yeah, I think it's awfully difficult. He's got three centre-backs marking him. It's awfully difficult to play balls into his feet. It's all right when he hit him from back to front and he can just pull on one of them. But I would be looking at the wing-backs. When, you know, when we get control possession in the centre of the pitch, get it out to the wing-backs. Get their back three stretched across the width of the pitch. Get the runners through the gaps. There you go. Keep a ball now. Down the right-hand side. The cross into the penalty area, but there was no white shirts waiting for it. Canisir will hammer the ball away. Don't forget, coming up next week, a great start to the Premier League day on Talk Sport with Rashford on game day. Manchester City against Liverpool at 12.30. And we will also have a Premier League commentary at 3 o'clock and West Brom against Ipswich. Both of those games will be live on Talk Sport 2. The West Brom Ipswich game will be 5.30. Connor Roberts with a long throw into the penalty area. Flicked on by Roden. Hammered away, though, by... The Kenyan. And Nico Williams on the halfway line will go all the way back to Danny Ward. Yeah, I think, you know, Harry Wilson's first goal against Croatia was Danny Ward, three passes to his centre-backs, long ball. Harry Wilson runs for the flick on off keeper more, clean through Rob's the keeper. The second goal was from a long throw. Kiefer Moore flicks it on, Harry Wilson reads it, tapping. So... We can score from any, many of them two situations. And I wouldn't be panicking just yet. Meppham on the halfway line for Wales. 30 seconds of normal time in the first half still to play. But I would imagine there'll be at least two or three minutes of added time. Wilson challenged firmly but fairly by Cavasia on the halfway line. Armenia looking to break. And of course, they've got the luxury now of being able to counter-attack a goal that as David Brooks is penalised on the far side for the challenge on Galicia and Armenia will have a free kick Galicia's caught the referee there he's, he looks back to his goalkeeper Kiefer Moore cuts the keeper off so he says right what I'll do I'll just shield it and as soon as I feel a hand on my back I'm going over David Brooks falls for it It's all the way back towards Kankanovic. Three minutes of added time at the end of the first half on Talk Sport. Armenia 1, Wales 0. Wales need to find two goals from somewhere. Kiefer Moore in pursuit again. Tight to the touchline on this near side. This gets a shove from Aratinian, but Wales do have a throw in. And Connor Roberts may get one final chance to launch it long into the penalty area. Yeah, and it's not the, it's not the first man against the head on this that scores. So he'll aim this long throw at Kiefer Moore. We should have four players on the edge of the box gambling for where the ball's going to drop on the move. Over on Talk Sport 2, Lauren James has put Chelsea 3-1 up against Liverpool. High ball into the penalty area, and it's nodded in by Joe Roden, and Wales are level on the stroke of half-time. Joe Roden with his first international goal in his 41st appearance. Connor Roberts hurled it in, and Joe Roden rose at the near post to head in an absolutely crucial goal for Wales. It's 1-1. Well, there you go. Hard to stop. Great throw. Connor Roberts gets it into the... Oh, it's an own goal. Front edge of the six-yard box. Causes all sorts of problems. Own goal. Oh, I don't know whether it was Joe Roden's just got a glance. 
or the defender has come on both the heads. Oh, it's Tim Nisian who got the first touch and maybe Joe Roden the second, but it was in at the near post and Wales are level after a first half which has been laboured at times but now they will head into half time with the mood transformed in both dressing rooms well cancel that team talk now uh, once again he's got to have a rethink now and think right right we're back in it we're on level terms let's just keep going the way we're going 20 minutes to go if it's still 1-1 i'll bring them on but I'm not going to open everything up yet. It's too vital. We can, I mean, if we don't win the game, we're, we're out, won't we, more or less? It'll be the playoffs. Yeah, well, it's gone down as a technician own goal, although I'm sure Joe Roden will be claiming it. But it doesn't really matter. It means Wales are level. And we can hear the Wales fans, 1,100 of them who made the journey by various points of the compass to Yadavan. And Wales have got to stand firm now in the closing seconds of the first half and not undo the work. But there goes the half-time whistle. And what a crucial moment for Wales on the road to the European Championships. A goal down in five minutes thanks to Lucas Alarian. But in first half added time, a long throw from Connor Roberts. Joe Roman challenged at the near post. We think Tignizian got the final touch for an own goal. But it's such a crucial goal for Wales. And at half-time, it is Armenia 1, Wales 1. Thanks, Eddie. And Armenia are rejoining us for the second half in Yerevan. 1-1 one, one the scoreline. A reminder of the two teams. Warding goal for Wales. Roden, Metham and Davis the back three. Roberts and Williams the wing-backs. Ampadu and James at the base of midfield. Brooks and Wilson supporting more. Kanovic in goal for Armenia, Avatunian, Havayan, Kalasir and Teknisian who scored the own goal, they're back for Spurtshun, Bakachinyan and Iwu in midfield, Dashyan, Zalalian and Ranos in attack and it's Wales who will get the second half underway. 45 minutes which are absolutely huge for Rob Page and his team. They have to win this game, they've not come from behind to win a match since that 3-2 victory in Belarus in September of 2021 when Gareth Bale scored right at the very end in a match which was played on neutral territory. Well, we've also not beaten the team, you were telling me earlier Nigel, we've not away from home, we've not beaten the team that's ranked high up the, up the rankings away from home. No, not for some time, and of course Armenia aren't, as Armenia come forward now with Bikashinian up towards the edge of the penalty area, Davis comes across, makes the challenge, Bikashinian goes down, and then he's penalised for handball, he's gone away clutching his face, but Davis won the ball cleanly. The teams that Wales have beaten away from home since Euro 2016, Latvia, Estonia, Belarus, Bulgaria, Finland, Azerbaijan, the Republic of Ireland, China, Georgia and Moldova. Yeah, um, there's no Italy, Belgium or Germany in there, is there? So um, it's not a great record, but right now, um, I don't care how we play. I don't care how this game sort of pans out. We just need to win it. We've just got to find a way of winning it. Well, the flip side of that is not too many teams have won in Cardiff. Of course, Armenia did. It's only Armenia and the Republic of Ireland who've won competitive games in Cardiff since the Euros. Well, when we got our home fans behind us, the, the Red Wall, I mean, they've done brilliantly well to get to there, all the fans today, to get to Armenia, six hours. Some of them have stopped in Cyprus and slept overnight there and carried on to the game. There's all sorts of stories of how they've got there and how expensive it is. Mansfield 1, Newport 0 in League 2. Davis Gallagher done with the early goal at Field Mill. A reminder over on Talks 4 2. Lauren James with a hat trick for Chelsea. They lead Liverpool 4 1 in the Women's Super League. Commentary continues on that. And we have the magnificent seven coming up later tonight on Talk Sport from 8 o'clock. Of course, the centrepiece of the boxing show is Denzel Bentley defending his British middleweight title against Nathan Heaney at the Manchester Arena. John Rawling, your commentator, Spencer Oliver and Carl Froch offering the expert analysis with Gareth A. Davis and Adam Castle. 1-1 the scoreline, two minutes into the second half. So Wilson does well to hold the ball up and find Brooks down the right, but he's lost out in the challenge of Kalasia. And Armenia have it back once again. 
Here is Iwu, a player who was born in Nigeria, made his debut in March, features for Ruben Kazan in the Russian League. The Kachinian, who has been a lively presence behind Zalarian, Dashian, now Iwu again and Kalasir. Of course, this is a must-win game for Armenia as well, so they were quite happy to sit in and frustrate one the luck, but it's a different game for them now as well. Yeah, they, they, they've got a couple of class strikers, which is, oh, that's what makes them dangerous, but they, they find it really difficult to construct any sort of movement, so any sort of football where it's more than five or six passes. Now Brooks looking to break away from the challenge of Aratunian on the far side, but it spins away off the defender, and it will be a throw-in for Wales on the halfway line. Aratunian, another player based in Russia with Krasnodar, and Brennan Johnson is about to come on for Wales. Rob Page not waiting long. Four minutes. I don't know what happened there. That's a bit strange, you think. I don't know whether David Brooks has had a knock, but he's coming off. Um, he must have, because he would have took him off at half-time, you would have thought. Well, Brooks makes his way off, applauds the Wales fans on the far side. And Brennan Johnson has been unleashed. Four minutes into the second half. Chelsea 5, Liverpool 1 now in the Women's Super League. So Kanuskin, the signing from Frankfurt, has scored the latest goal for Chelsea. Another big win for Emma Hayes' team at the top of the table. And we've got Arsenal coming up in a few weeks. Iwu on the halfway line for Armenia. Back to Kalasia and all the way back to Kankanovic who made an excellent save to deny Harry Wilson in the first half but was caught out by the own goal at the near post although went flash past him very quickly. Yeah, Harry Wilson really unlucky. I mean, what, what a finish. Great pass from David Brooks inside the fullback. Nico Williams cuts it back to Harry Wilson and he's bending with his left foot helping it on its way. Keeper, fingertips. Otherwise he gets another goal for Wales. Given away cheaply by Roberts. Straight to the dangerous Zalaria and the ball forward flicks off Roberts. Ranos inside the penalty area, appeals for offside as the shot is fired in from Tignizian and it spins behind but the flag is eventually raised. It won't be a corner, it will be a free kick to Wales but Armenia do have that threat when they get players like Zalaria and Ranos on the ball. Yeah, unfortunately for them, you know, and because they're a small country, obviously, you know, when you when you play against Portugal, they've got eight, nine world beaters. Then Spain, eight and nine. Germany, eight and nine. When you play these like Cyprus and Ar Armenia teams like this, they've got two or three who are brilliant, but the rest can't get them the ball enough. But we've got to be careful. We don't show disrespect to the pair of their strikers. Well, it's a fascinating situation now. 1-1, one, one, six minutes into the second half. Both teams have to win. And Kiefer Moore has been penalised again for pushing. Again, as a manager as well, you know, an international manager, you've got to be conscious of what they're doing. So, Pagey will be looking at their subs, warming up. He'll have his, his assistants telling him, right, there's a winger coming on and two strikers. They're going to change the formation and you have to try and anticipate what they're going to do and then find a weakness in it and try and exploit it. To Larian stepping away from... Ethan Ampadu claims he was bumped off it, but nothing given. Wales try and break in the ball forward, almost picked out Brennan Johnson down the right, but it was cut out. Here is Iwu, and a good challenge coming in from Davis. And now Wilson back to Ampadu, quickly forward to Moore, but Adoyan slides in with the challenge and wins it back, and it's so competitive in the central area. Eventually, Ranos goes down under the challenge of Ampadu, and Armenia get the free kick, but the referee allowed plenty to go there before eventually penalising Wales. Yeah, well, my instructions to Brennan Johnson when he come on, this is what my instructions would be to him. Go on and try and win us the game, but mainly, don't be just jogging about and let him half an hour bypass you. Because I've seen him do that in the past, where the game just bypasses him for half an hour, he's jogging about. He did it you really. Did yeah, it's like, come on, work your socks off, sprint, get in people's faces, and when the chance comes, get in behind their back four, get there. 
Will fireworks go off inside the stadium? 52 minutes played. Armenia 1, Wales 1. Wales a goal down for virtually the whole of the first half before an own goal on the stroke of half-time. Hanayan carrying the ball forward for Armenia, loses out, but he's then helped out by Kalasir as Wales try and counter-attack. And now Dashian has it on this near side, the right. Swirls a high ball into the area, nodded away by Chris Meppham, who is suspended now for the game against Turkey on Tuesday. Now it's wide to the far side, and Tignesian again. Tignesian in towards Alarian on the left corner of the penalty area. Iwu, the midfielder, is down, flat out on the turf for Armenia. Zalaria plays it forward, and now Wilson can break. Armenia want the game stopped, but Wilson plays on. Wilson's then fouled by Harry, and that's got to be a yellow card at least. He was late there on Harry Wilson on the halfway line. One or two Wales players getting involved. It will be a yellow card for the captain, but it's a free kick for Wales on halfway. That is a stonewall red card, in my opinion. Nigel, he's what's happened? They've got a player laying on the floor, Ewu. He's laying on the floor thinking that we're going to kick the ball out of play. We broke on him, and he's he's took the law into his own hands and just body smashed Harry Wilson. It's a red card. Well, Ampadu has been shown a yellow card for dissent for his reaction to that. Harian has been booked, he'll be out of Armenia's game against Croatia. Wilson was in full flight there, inside the Wales half. Harry, I knew exactly what he was doing. Cynical. Yeah, I mean, that, that, if that's not a red card, what is? He's deliberately body checked, forearm smashed Harry Wilson. Iwu was coming off for Armenia on this near side. 54 minutes played on Talk Sport in the European Championship qualifiers. Armenia won, Wales won the score. Iwu player went down clutching his groin as he played a ball wide to the far side and I don't think he'll be able to carry on. We've got this situation where I don't mind if they come forward and they put six or seven players in our box and they have a bit of possession around our box because remember playing against Man United when they had Giggs and Kanchelskis and they used to just linger on the corner of the 18-yard box. Before you know it, they're the other end of the pitch shooting at your goal. That's what we got to do with Harry Wilson and Brennan Johnson. Brennan Johnson back to Roberts on the halfway line now for Wales. Wearing all white this evening in Yerevan. Davis clips it forward for Nico Williams on this near side. Side, that he's on side, looks to deliver the ball into the penalty area. He'll now try and take on his man. And now the cross is looped in via a deflection, but doesn't make the penalty area. Controlled by Davis, quickly back towards Williams again, and now back to Ampadu. Wales look to work it wide to the far side with James. Brennan Johnson is surely the outlet, and he's found now by Connor Roberts, who tells Brennan Johnson to take his man on. And he breaks into the penalty area, but in the end, the challenge comes in, and a goal kick has been given. Oh, I just thought for one second that he was going to bring Brendan Johnson down there. He's got the ball for the first time in six minutes. He's been on. On the right-hand side, he takes the left back on, outpaces him, centre-half comes across the cover, and I'm thinking, go on, stick your leg in. And cleverly, he pulls his leg out at the last second, and he goes out for a goal kick, but... Close. 56 minutes played. Armenia 1, Wales 1. Live on Talk Sport. As Armenia with Spurtsan try and play out from the back. He finds Kalasir and it's back towards Spurtsan again. A high ball forward to Ranos who brings it down well and finds Zanarian. And now Zanarian will turn away from James. Square towards Spurtsan on the edge of the penalty area. He lets fly but it's over the top. And Danny Ward saw that one comfortably. He can shoot from there. And that was, that does happen. When you play this system with a back five and two in front, the opposition gets stuck and they eventually shoot from too far out. That's what normally happens. Now Armenia with another chase forward. But they've given the ball away and then the referee gets involved as Jordan James tries to play it wide to the far side and it will be a drop ball. In League 2, Sutton nil, Tranmere 1, Ben Goodliff with an own goal. That's a crucial game between two sides right at the bottom of the Football League. Earlier on today, Notts County beat Bradford 4-2. Nigel, at this point, if I'm on the bench, I'm thinking, right, can James, who am I going to bring off? And what am I going to change? It's got to be Jordan James. 
Ethan Amadou's on a yellow card, but he's a bit more experienced than Jordan. He's only 19, 20. So you've got to get Dan James on the pitch somehow. I'd move Harry Wilson into midfield and put Dan James on. 1-1, 58 minutes played on Talk Sport in a game Wales have to win. Croatia playing Latvia later on. Of course, we'll have to wait and see what happens in that game, but Wales have got to match Croatia's results. And they play Armenia on Tuesday. Wales are in Cardiff to face Turkey. We've already qualified. And if Wales don't finish in the top two, it will be the playoffs in March via the Nations League. We could end up with a semi-final against maybe Italy or Poland, possibly Ukraine. It's an unknown at the moment, but we'll know that on Tuesday evening, whatever happens. What he could do as well, which is a, an easy way to change this system into all-out attack, he could just take the two wing-backs off, Nico Williams and Connor Roberts, and play Brennan Johnson and Dan James as wing-backs. And that turns into all-out attack. You might concede one, but you've got more chance of scoring one. Johnson heads it forward now for Kiefer Moore, who tries to bring it forward on the far side, but he runs out of room. Really, the role should have been reversed there, and it will be in a throw into Armenia with nearly an hour play on Talk Sport. Armenia 1, Wales 1. The game's had a bit of a lull where there's not many ball mouth incidents at the minute. I mean, they've got a win as well. So we've just got to keep concentrating and be professional and find a way how to get over the win. We could end up here with a final 10 minutes, which would be like a basketball game with both teams throwing bodies forward to try and win the game. Yeah, and, a, and a simple way of looking at this. Here's a long ball play forward now for Armenia. Tiknizian with the ball in, looking for Ranos, but he tried to flick it at the near post. Didn't make contact, it's cleared away by Williams. Jordan Rhodes with a penalty for Blackpool in League One. They lead Shrewsbury by a goal to nil. Now Spurtsian for Armenia, enjoying a good spell again. Ranos down the left-hand side, works the one to his Delario. Ranos continues towards the edge of the penalty area, and the curling shot hits the underside of the crossbar, and Zalario puts it over the top. Bakashian, so close there to putting Armenia back into the lead again. It was a terrific effort and it clattered down off the underside of the bar and Wales were very fortunate. Well, there you go. There's their front three combining and Dashian. I mean, it's... Zilla Ryan has played a 1-2. Dashan gets it on the half turn on the left side of the box. Tries to bend it in the top corner. Thierry on relay. And it's in the underside of the bar. And we've got over jail. Because Zilarian should have put the rebound in. And he blazed it high over the top. Yeah, I mean, he's got to show a bit more composure there as well. But maybe it's our day, Nigel. Well... Early days to say that, 61 minutes played, 1-1, one, one. Armenia have a player down, the Wales play on, Nico Williams on this near side, Wilson demanding the ball down the left, and will Wales knock it out of play, well, Bakashian, the player who just had that shot, is now back on his feet, but the referee does stop play, with Wales in possession, Benoit Bastian, to allow Bakashian to receive some treatment. I mean, it looks like he's holding his hand or something. Uh, maybe he's brought the finger in there. Doesn't look a lot wrong with him. We've, but we've got to kick the ball out of play. I, mean, I, might, I might have got it wrong. He might be holding his ribs. If he's got one in the ribs, then that is. It takes the wind out of you. I take it back. He's holding his ribs. And he's receiving treatment. 1-1 the scoreline, he's back on his feet, 62 minutes played. Don't forget to join Henry Winter and Sean Custis on Talk Sport 9am tomorrow for the Sunday edition. And David Dean, the former Arsenal vice chairman and former confidant, or maybe current confidant of Arsene Wenger, will be a guest in the studio. Dan James, Nigel? Yes. Time's running out. Harry Wilson into midfield. Dan James for now in the same shape. Give it quarter of an hour. If that don't work, take the wing backs off and play with 
two wingers. On the cash in, it looks like the player who was injured there, having just hit the crossbar, he's coming off. In fact, no, it's Iwu who is coming off. The midfielder who was injured before, and Hofanas Havertunian, who plays on this pitch for Pianic, the dominant team in Armenian club football, he will come on to replace him. Havertunian's been on the international scene for some time. Gillingham 1, Salford 0, Conor Mahoney in League 2. As Wales come forward now with Nico Williams down the left-hand side. Checks back onto the right foot, delivers the cross in. Headed away by Harrion. One back well though by James. Now, Conor Roberts tries to deliver a cross but he's closed down and Ranos will try and bring the ball clear for Armenia. Challenge though by James and it's Amphidou who brings it forward now. Brennan Johnson in space to the right but the ball never finds him and Amphidou's got to do better than that. Oh, he's got to get that pass right. I mean, it's just transition again. Both sets of teams. Both teams give the ball away. And Ethan Amphidou who's running at their back four. He's got two options, left and right. He's got to get the pass right. You see Man City players, they do not mess that pass up. And it's terrible. Gets intercepted, chance gone. Well, this will feel like playoff football for both of these teams now because they've got to win this game. Hoffenissian, the player who's just come on. Wide to Dashian on this near side. And the back heel from Bakishan. And the cross into the penalty area from Dashian was looking for Ranos in its claim on his haunches by Danny Wall. Well, he's got, uh, you know, I agree with everything he's done so far, but right now he's got to get Dan James on the pitch. You know, the game's gone dull, we've not had a shot. He's got to liven it up. You right. don't need two defensive midfield players, as well as having three centre-halves. You don't need it right now. Maybe he takes off Methem. Goes to a back four, possibly. Methem on the yellow card, of course. It's given away by Nico Williams again, and Wales are giving the ball away with regularity now, but Williams will chase back and shepherd the ball behind before Hoppenissian gets there. And it will be a goal kick to Wales. 25 minutes to play. And if you're a Wales fan, this is absolutely excruciating. Yeah, I mean, at some point you've got to get in their faces and you've got to say, right, there's no way. Here, Here he comes, James. Here he comes, uh, yeah, right on time. Harry Wilson coming off, I'm not sure about that. He's got a free kick in him, over the wall. He's got a goal in him. He's got corners, delivery. He's the last person I would have taken off. Well, Wilson doesn't look too happy as he makes his way off. Dan James with one goal and four assists in his previous five Wales internationals. Harrogate just nil, Swindon two. one in League Two. Sorry, Nigel. He's just scored two against Croatia. Harry Wilson, yeah. Now Kiefer Moore does well to win a header on this near side. Nico Williams has got the support of Dan James ahead of him, but checks back in field to find Amphidou. Now James, Amphidou again, and back towards Davis. Wales looking for the opening now down the left-hand side. Williams back towards Amphidou. And here is James, and now Brennan Johnson in a central area, squirts it wide to the far side, but doesn't find Connor Roberts. Headed forward, though, by Mepham, and it's headed away on the far side by Aratinian. Now Armenia will try and build again, but two of their players get in each other's way. But then Jordan James has lost out, and it's the early ball forward over the top, looking for the run of Vigashinian, and it's claimed by Danny Ward on the edge of his penalty area. Well, I know how difficult it is managing and, and, and when you're down there in the heat of the moment, but you've got two defensive midfield players still on the pitch, three centre-backs still on the pitch, two full-backs still on the pitch and Harry Wilson sat on the bench and we need a goal. Don't make sense. And Wales have made the changes, bringing on Brennan Johnson and Daniel James, but the quality in the second half has not been there. No, and, and you know Harry Wilson drifts in and out of games, but he's got magic moments in him. He's done it, he's proved it. So has Brooks. Harayan for Armenia as they try and play out again. Kalasir launches the long ball over the top. Ranos in pursuit. Roden will 
just ensure it goes all the way through towards Ward. Wales looking to build that from the back again, but Mepham was given no favours there by the pass back to him from James, which was onto his chest, so now Danny Ward will hammer it long. Brevin Johnson leaping for it, almost comes to Kiefer Moore, who's been held off by Harian. And Armenia will clear, but now James hooks it forward. Johnson tries to bring the ball under control, but he loses out to Aratinian. And Armenia will have a throw in with 22 minutes to play on Talk Sport. Armenia won, Wales won, as it was at half time. Well, we've not changed the shape, we've got the same shape. All he's done is he's took Brooks and Wilson off and brought James and Brennan Johnson on in the same positions. But these two are different types of players. You've had two midfield players on Brooks and Wilson, a midfield players who break wide. These two are two out and out wingers that play out wide. Now an opportunity for Dan James to use his pace, found by Ampadu, down the left-hand side, cuts into the penalty area, still James, now he's got support from Williams on the outside, but he jinks in field, he's got support from Jordan, James who lets fly, it's fumbled by the goalkeeper, but nobody had gambled on the fumble, and it's claimed by Kankaravich at the second attempt. That's where you need the poacher in the box. Great strike from Jordan James, 35 yards out, down to the keeper's left. Keeper fumbles it. There's a freebie if you're alive and you're on your way in there. It's a tapping. It's finished Chelsea 5, Liverpool 1 in the WSL over on Chalksport 2. So the leaders moving six points clear for now of the weekend programme which includes the Manchester Derby heading towards the final 20 minutes here and it's still Armenia 1, Wales 1 and neither side can afford to draw this game for Armenia it's definitely over for Wales it's probably over in terms of automatic qualification yeah and it looks to me as if Robert Page has thought right after an hour I'll bring them two off and put Dan James and Brennan Johnson on. He's made his mind up before the game what he's going to do. But Ethan Ampadu, no disrespect to, to, to James and Ampadu, they're not creative players. They're stoppers who are covering the ground and breaking things up. We've got three centre-backs behind them doing nothing. National League leaders Chesterfield are a goal up at South End. Will Brick with the opening goal there. As Dacia controls for Armenia. 70 minutes played on Talk Sport. 1 1 the scoreline. And Armenia moving it forward again with Zalarian. Now Spurzia further wide to the left hand side. The low cross delivered into the penalty area by Nikisian. And it's blocked by Roberts. And at the moment. Armenia are making a double change. Edgar Savikian and Arta Miranyan are the players who are coming on. Savikian plays for Nizhny Novgorod in Russia. England played there in the World Cup. Vikashian is the first player to be withdrawn. And Miranyan plays for a club in Armenia called Noah. They know the history. And Ranos has gone off. I'm glad he's gone off. He's got a goal in him. But both these teams are on a knife edge. Yeah, and if they can't afford to concede, and they've both got to score. Yeah, and, and all the young coaches out there, if you play this shape, you can't have it always. If you're going to play a back five with two in front, you can't press. You can't get any pressure on them. Unless you say to them, your two wing-backs, go on, all the way. And then once you do that, you've got gaps. Solaria now with a low cross into the penalty area. Somehow it scrambled away at the near post and fired back in through the crowd by Hoffenissian. And it's over the top. Well, I must say, at the minute, they look more li liable to score than us. And this uh, has got echoes of the Iran game, hasn't it? Yeah, you, you change, sometimes you do change it and you think, you're standing there thinking, I could change this and make it worse by bringing two wingers on. If we don't get the ball to them, we're carrying them. So Dan James and Brennan Johnson, if you don't get the ball to them now, if you don't gain possession and get it to them, you're carrying them. Dan James on the ball now. White to Nico Williams, down the left-hand side. Wales looking 
looking to break into the penalty. And Williams with the shot, but it rises over the angle, bounces towards the Wales fans across the running track, and it's a goal kick. Well, we've seen him do that in the past. Nico Williams, he drops his shoulder, comes inside on his right foot. I've seen him in the stanchion. He's got one-on-one -on -one there, comes in on his right, a bit like their goal. And it's just bobbled as he's hit it. It's just gone over the corner, the angle. Good signs. Tomorrow night, 9 o'clock on Talk Sport, a special programme entitled Play On, how football returned to war-torn Ukraine. And it's narrated by the British Ukrainian sports journalist Andrew Todos, features Ukrainian football icons Andrei Shevchenko, Sergei Rebrov, and Oleksandr Zinchenko. Play on how football returned to war torn Ukraine tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, here on Talk Sport. Well, it looks like they've gone to a back four now. The mids, they're trying to win the game. So, Page has got to adjust. I mean, I'd say to Brandon Johnson and Dan James, stay up have got to score, Armenia have got to score, it's an area with the ball forward, and it's bobbled all the way through and behind, it's an area played in MLS for Columbus crew, has now moved to Al Fatah, one of the clubs, without the bundles of cash in the Saudi Pro League, born in Argentina but with an Armenian dad, and you can see him, even though he's at the age of 31, being a key player for Armenia as they look to build. Blackpool 2, Shrewsbury near the League 1, Jake Beasley with the second goal at Bloomfield Road. If I'm going to make a prediction, Nigel, I'm going to put my neck on the line. There will be a moment of world-class football from, from one of our players before the end of this game. Is that what you're hoping for, or what you think will happen? No, I think they will. Uh, they've got it in them. Dan James, Brennan Johnson, they've got that magic moment, Premier League standard football in them. High ball played forward again, Kalasir clears, Nico Williams brings it back, he's been caught by Hoffenissian. And it will be a free kick for Wales inside the Armenian half with 15 minutes to play. trouble is we've got to get him the ball a bit more and when you're playing with five at the back and two sitting midfield players it's difficult. James back towards Nico Williams Dan James again is wide on this near side and Nathan Broadhead will be coming on shortly for Wales you can only assume that's for Kiefer Moore well he's been among the goals in the championship Nathan Broadhead it is a regular starter for a team right at the top of the table. Yeah, he gets goals and scored that crucial goal in Croatia. And Wales needs something similar here. And there's real tension all around the Republican Stadium. Both sets of supporters know that the next 14 minutes will decide the immediate fate of their teams in terms of automatic qualification. Nigel, we're just sitting in our half watching Armenia pass the ball around at the back. Because of the shape of our team, we can't get a glove on them. We've got, you've got to go man for man now in their half and say, go on, try and play through us. You're not going to. Man for man. You've got to be brave now. 15 minutes to go. Someone's got to be brave. Nico Williams now, down the left-hand side. Dan James in support, but Williams comes in field. And there's very little Dan James can do to make a run in behind without being caught offside in that sort of situation. Wales have got to move the ball quicker to give their quicker players the opportunity. Now it's high towards Brennan Johnson, who does win the ball inside the penalty area just for a second, but Aratunian does well to hold him off and clear. And now Roden almost gave the ball away, but Metham recovers it and fizzes the back pass to Danny Ward, who just about manages to control it. Had memories there with that own goal against the Czech Republic. Well, he's got lots of options. I mean, he could, he could go to a back four and put another striker up there with Kiefer Moore. So we've got four occupying their four defenders. Now, let's see if you can call. But you've got to give him the ball, though, haven't you? Well, we can't get the ball because we're sitting too deep. 
and when they do get the ball up front, they've got four men marking them. Now James does have some space down the left-hand side to attack the penalty area. Comes inside again, flicks the ball wide to the far side, but it's cut out. And now Zalarian can bring it forward. The decision-making from Wales at times moving forward has been pretty poor in the second half. 77 minutes played, Jordan James flips the runner from midfield and he's shown the yellow card and it's a free kick for Armenia on the halfway line. You know, it's easy when you're watching from the side and you're not the manager. I've been down in that technical area and you've got all sorts of thoughts going through your head and you know you've got to get it right. And Robert Cage knows he's going to get slaughtered if he don't win the game. Well, all of the talk, all of the noise suddenly gets very loud again, doesn't it? Yeah, because, you know, it's all, it was dodgy. What, you can't you leave them two on the bench. Well, Connor Roberts point. has gone off and Nathan Broadhead has come on. Well, it looks like we're going to go to a back four now. He's, and I think Nico Williams has gone to right back and we've, we've gone to a back four. But he's still got two defensive midfield players on. 11 and a half minutes to play on Talk Sport. Armenia 1, Wales 1. Matt Smith has equalised for Salford at Gillingham in League 2. Wales have got to win this game. Armenia have got to win this game. Savikian for Armenia on this near side. Beyond the challenge of Broadhead but runs into Ben Davis now playing as a left back and it's quickly forward. Looking for Kiefer Moore who's got the run on Harrion. Looks to break forward towards the edge of the penalty area. Harrion recovers then Dan James goes down and the referee says Armenia won the ball. And it's a high ball forward over the top looking for Tignisian and he's kept the ball in play. The low ball into the penalty area guided away at the near post by Mepham and it will be a corner to Armenia. Well, you, whatever you say about Kiefer Moore, he's battled away, and uh, I mean, he gets down the channel there. He's got the centre, centre back, 1v1, he's got a start on him. Arayan gets back, and Dan James just slips with an overload there. Brennan Johnson was in, but couldn't get the pass off. Forest Green 1, Grimsby 0 in League 2. Armenia's second corner. They scored from their first in the fifth minute. Zalarian will take this one. A goal now, and it's surely a winning goal for either side. Zalarian works it short to Spurzian, in towards Tignesian, unmarked, but he fires the shot high over the top. Well worked corner, they take a short one, somebody goes into the box and shows for it, roll it into his feet, it's free. Ethan Amadou's closing down, he's shot though, he's got to just dig that into the back post. Well, both coaches now, very animated on the edge of their technical areas. Ten minutes to play on Talk Sport. Armenia 1, Wales 1. A draw won't do for either side. It would definitely knock Armenia out. And Wales would then be waiting on Latvia doing them a favour against Croatia. Don't hold your breath. You know, once again, Kiefer Moore's got two centre-backs marking him for 90 minutes. He had three, now he's got he's got two marking him. We've got to put four players across the top of the pitch, so all their defenders are occupied, and then you get runners from midfield. I would have I would have took Ampadu and um, Jordan James off, and left Wilson and Brooks in the middle of midfield, and risked getting beat. Moore wins a header, only finds Spurtsian, and it's quickly on to Zalarian, back to Spurtsian again, now Zalarian, 30 yards out, he deflects off Jordan James towards the area, Spurtsian shot deflected, and it whizzes high over the top for a corner. Full shave again, and then they broke on us, shot from the edge of the box, Nico Williams has slid in and got a touch on it, luckily it's deflected over the bar, it looked like he was going in. Armenia finishing the game stronger here, even though Wales have thrown on so many attacking players. This is just like the match against Iran at the World Cup a year ago. Technician deep into the penalty area, drives the cross and it's deflected away by first Danny Ward and then Chris Meppham. And Wales here are clinging on. Cut back from the byline and they nearly scored again. I mean, I think, I think maybe it's going to be our day. Nine minutes. You said that against a run. <laughs> nine, nine minutes. And it wasn't. And extra time. Maybe 15 minutes. But you're on about with attacking players. You've got to give them the ball. It's like bringing a shotgun on and having no bullets to put in it. 
was the problem when you played because you, players like yourself, Hughes, Rush, Bellamy, you're all playing at the top of your game but there was no one to give you the ball. No, so if you play four across the top, obviously you lose a bit in the middle of the pitch. Then you're going to have to risk taking one of the centre-backs out of the back three and pushing them into midfield so you've got three in there. So you get enough of the ball to give it to the players who need it in the last third. James puts it forward, looking for Brennan Johnson. It's headed away initially by Anatunyan. And the clearance takes a deflection off Brennan Johnson. He has not really had an impact on the game since coming on four minutes into the second half. Seven minutes to play. On talk sport, Armenia won, Wales won. Can Wales win a game which has looked unlikely? Here is Broadhead coming forward now, but the ball forward is deflected away by Kalasir. Quickly forward for Armenia from Haratunyan, but it's quickly won back. Broadhead again, looking to drive at the Armenian defence. Goes wide to the far side, and Brennan Johnson, the cross into the penalty area for Nico Williams, is headed away. And now Ampadu tries an outrageous volley, which is nearer the Wales fans behind that goal than the goal itself. Ethan Ampadu, I mean... He's shot from about 35 yards on the volley. What's going through your head? I mean, I've been reading too many comics. Roy the Rovers. I don't think modern day football is very good. They've never, never heard of that, have they? No. Mepham now. Back towards James. A good ball forward from him, the dummy. Finding Nathan Broadhead who tries to work his way into the penalty area but the challenge comes in. The Wales will recover possession. Nico Williams down the right delivers the cross and it's blocked by Spurgeon at the near post. Six minutes to play. 1-1 in Yerevan on talk sport. And it's straight out of play on the far side by Moranian and Wales will have a throw in. It's getting desperate now. I mean, that final pass which all the top teams seem to get right when they put in... You know, Bernardo Silva comes in my head, De Bruyne, when they get running at the back four and they go, slip, you're in. We've had two chances and got it wrong. James with the cross into the penalty area, Kiefer Moore with the header and the goalkeeper palms it away. It was a save for the cameras really, sliding in to try and win it back on this near side is Brennan Johnson, but Armenia will clear and then there's a foul by Roden on the halfway line and Kiefer Moore there was really too far out to find the back of the net with that sort of header. Yeah, he was like trying to wrap his neck round it. He's probably on the penalty spot, a long way out. The ball's going away from him, away from the goal. He's wrapped his head round it and tried to plant it in the bottom corner. Keeper's made a decent save, but if he'd have let that in, he'd never play again. Forest Green 2, Grimsby nil in League 2. Five minutes to play here, 1-1, the cross into the penalty area, travels to Dashian, his volley from the far post is blocked by Ben Davis, and Dan James will try and bring the ball clear, and then he's caught by Spurgeon, was he not according to the referee? Dashian now for Armenia, they've got an extra man on this near side, Dashian back towards Spurgeon, and now it's square, the back heel, and the shot is over the top in the end, and it was a waste from Armenia as we tick into the 87th minute and it was Alarion who fired it too high and it's still 1-1 as Stockport take the lead against Colchester the league two leaders thanks to Carl Water. Yeah, I mean, see Dan James trying to head a cross away at the back post he's not on the pitch for that Flip forward again by Danny Ward and Wales do have a free kick, will be off to Broadhall Way shortly for half-time in the League One game there today. But first of all, Wales do have a free kick inside Armenian territory. And the Wales fans are urging the players to get forward here because it's now or never. Well, you look at the players on the pitch, who's never going to make me a goal and who's never going to score a goal? Get them off and get players on who've got an instinct to score a goal. Or in the past, you've seen them nick the goal. And you keep them on, I feel sorry for him. He needs someone right alongside him, picking all the bits up. Well, 
Wales do have this free kick though. Hammered forward by Nico Williams towards Kiefer Moore who wins the header. High across the penalty area but it's nodded towards goal by Ampadu and it's claimed by Gankanovic and let's go to half time. Stevenage against Lincoln with Ian Abraham. Stevenage nil, Lincoln nil, 45 minutes of talking points and opinions. That's you two. This has been desperate. Steve Evans has been booked. I've dropped my half time donut. Stevenage nil, uh, Lincoln nil. I bet you'll pick it up though. Here's Hotle Nisya on the far side. Wide towards the far side again. 1-1. One, one. Two and a half minutes to play. This is desperate from Wales in terms of the situation and the second half performance. Spurgeon on towards Zalarian. And now Teknisian with a shot on the turn but it's high over the top. I'm, I'm trying to work out Nathan Broadhead. What's his instructions when he's come on the pitch? He's playing like centre midfield. Surely he's told him to go on and play up front with Kiefer Moore. And tell Brennan Johnson, get out wide, Danji, get out wide. Now an opportunity for Wales to bring it forward. And it's Brennan Johnson down the right-hand side. The low cross into the penalty area, almost found Broadhead. But it's scrambled behind for a corner to Wales in the 89th minute. Oh, there's the moment. Brennan Johnson now paces the big centre-back. Harry Yan squares it across the pace. Defender makes a great challenge, just clears it. Corner kick for Wales. Delivery here is key. Dan James will take it. They can't afford to foul. James whirls it high to the far post. Roden challenging. It's off the top of his head and it's harmlessly away on this near side. It's quickly cleared away by Armenia, straight out of play though. And in the 90th minute, Wales have a throw in on this near side. Now Roden, back towards Mepham, who won't play on Tuesday. Nico Williams down the line. Broadhead in towards Brennan Johnson. Laid back again to Jordan James. Wells have got to get this right. 30 seconds of added time to play. Ampadu clips it wide to the far side. Taken down by Nico Williams. Williams drives in the cross. Brennan Johnson's attempted volley is blocked at the near post by Adetunio. But it's won back by Johnson. And now Nico Williams tries to run a challenge on the edge of the penalty area. And Armenia will come forward now on the counter-attack themselves with Zalarian. Four forward in this attack now. Dasha makes it five. Zalarian squares it wide to Sabikian, he curls it, tipped away by Danny Ward, and it's a corner kick, and Armenia almost won it there. Great save, but that's what happens, you're bombing forward, you're trying to win the game, you're always vulnerable, and, and, you know, he's unlucky that he's trying to bend it in the far corner, Danny Ward, good save. And Armenia have a corner here, as they look to win this game. We're into a minimum of five added minutes on Talk Sport. Armenia won, Wales won. A draw, no good for either side. Spurgeon whips in the corner and it's fisted clear by Danny Ward. It was bizarre there. He leant down at the near post. It skimmed off the top of his gloves over his head for another corner. Well, I think he's panicked a bit there, Danny. I mean, it's right in his midriff. He's trying to do him near post from a corner in swinger. And he's dived at it and punched it. He probably didn't realise there was nobody coming in. He's gone out for another corner. Four minutes of added time to play. 1-1 one, one the score. This is not good enough for Wales. Spurtsian with the corner kick. High towards the far post. It's nodded towards goal by Hadayan and it's behind for a goal kick. Looks like the playoffs in March. If it stays like this, realistically, we'll have to wait and see what Croatia do later on. But four minutes left, Nigel. Four they, minutes. They've been given on. a let off if it stays like this. They they deserve to beat us. Yeah, being honest, they've been the better side. Ward clears downfield. Kiefer Moore losing out in the air, but it's played over the top, looking for Dan James. Dashian though, and then Harriyan play it back towards Kankanovic, the goalkeeper. He clears long downfield, straight out of play. 
Rob Page eager to get the ball back onto the field. Three minutes of added time to play. Thrown long, headed away though by Kalasir and then put further away by Dacia and Armenia have a free kick taken miles away from where it was awarded inside the Armenian half and Benoit Bastian rightly sends them back. I thought, I thought it was handball, I, I didn't think he'd give a free kick. And then they stole about 25 yards. Running the clock now, it's no good for them a draw either, like you said. No, they've got to win, and a draw would probably not be enough for Wales. We've got everyone behind the ball now, why? Three minutes to go. Well, maybe they're thinking, a point's better than nothing, but the reality is, we're out. That's where you've got to look at it. If things go as they should do, but playoffs it's the playoffs in March if but you never know Armenia could go to Croatia and get a draw but we'll have to wait and see what happens later on tonight first but Armenia coming forward again now with Miranyan his look cross into the penalty area it's gathered by Zalarian Zalarian delays twice thinks it in Sevian shoots wide should have scored magic from Zalarian he is a really good player I and mean, what he does there they've got down the right hand side cut across back he's gone behind everybody Zalarian in the same position where he scored fakes to shoot fakes to shoot dinks a little ball over Ethan Ampadu's leg and the lad's got a score let's put it on a plate for him a minute of added time to play it's cleared away by Mepham on the far side, Armenia have the throw in. They're pouring forward, they're showing the urgency that Wales have lacked for so much of the game. Zalarian now. He's been the catalyst for Armenia. Now Spurgeon fires in the shot, it's blocked by Mepham on the edge of the area. Brennan Johnson will try and close it down but he loses out. Wales are so deep in the 95th minute in the game they have to win. Now a shot from long range is over the top and Wales will maybe have one more goal kick forward. It was Spurts who fired over the top. We've got nine players behind the ball when he's shooting there. He's 35 yards out. As he strikes the ball, we've got nine players goal side of the ball. And we need to score. The reality is Wales haven't scored. Armenia scored for them. But here is Brennan Johnson. Right hand side of the penalty area. Looking to take his man on. He goes down. He was looking for the penalty. And Benoit Basti is not interested. And Brennan Johnson has looked lightweight, isn't he, really? No impact. I'm shocked. You've got to go on there and take your chance. It's all over. It is finished 1 1 in Yerevan. Armenia are out, and Wales' hopes are now hanging by a very slender thread to avoid the playoffs. Both sets of players are bitterly disappointed. Armenia, the better side overall, they deserve to win. Wales' performance lacked urgency and quality, and at the moment, the European Championships seem a long, long way away. Not good enough, not good enough at all. It's finished Armenia 1, Wales 1.